Hello everyone, my name is Gabby and I'm here to present my uh, honors proposal. Uh, the title is still to be determined. I don't know what it will be. I've been brainstorming on it, but me and my advisor haven't agreed on one yet. Uh, anyway, here's some background information of a few of the important things that are going to be going on in my proposal. We are looking at the diazon diazonium linkage, which is between it's a double bond between two nitrogen atoms and two aromatic rings. And um, the double bond between the nitrogens is called an azo linkage. Uh, we're going to be looking at diazonium ions slash salts, which is basically this right here, the positive, positively charged nitrogen with a triple bond. And uh, we're looking at their emissions of lights. Uh, with specific wave wavelengths, we're going to be looking at diazonium ions as tags on amino acids, and basically bioconjugation, which is the uh, combination of two bioactive molecules together. And how this all ties together is that they're going to be being used as protein probes. So here is the uh, bioconjugation between this molecule and the salt. Uh, so, my research question is, uh, this study focuses on the uh, azo coupling reaction to conjugate a fluorescence label to a peptide. The molecule in question is, uh, I do not know how to pronounce this correctly, 7-amino-4-methylcumarine, which is uh, also known as AMC. Uh, this is a fluorescent molecule. It has an aromatic ring, and we are trying to make this molecule into a salt. So after that, we will hopefully try to uh, conjugate this salt into a, an amino acid, and the amino acid in our, in our case would be tyrosine. So here is a representation of the AMC, <coughs> that is only a salt formation, at the top. This is how we, we expect to get this. And then after that, we expect to use that molecule uh, in conjugation with tyrosine the amino acid, and we expect to get that molecule over there. So basically our theory stems behind the research uh, from the demand for more accurate analysis of peptide drugs through a number of applications. Uh, but our application focuses on using probes or fluorescent labels to identify these drug, drug metabolites. Uh, this is the literature that I looked at. These are the three main articles that stood out to me. Um, so basically, in the first research, they demonstrated uh, that 3DT, which is another molecule, was used as a specific reagent for tryptophan. And uh, they studied this in different acidic pHs, but what they mainly looked at was at the uh, fluorescence or the spectroscopy that 3DT had on time. Um, Tryptophan, not tyrosine. So uh, the other literature that I looked at, they um, created a general approach for direct polymer conjugation to peptides. They based this on diazonium salts as well. And then the third uh, literature that I related to the most was where uh, they developed a successful bioconjugation protocol where they coupled an O-ester diazonium salt to different amino groups and proteins. So all these studies, uh, they have different results. They got different uh, wavelengths. They use different reagents. But they all use this, the same method, which is the conjugation of the uh, diazonium salt to an amino acid. So uh, a few of the gaps and limitations of my research. The main one is that the AMC may not form the salt. So this is why. Because, as you can see, AMC has two rings. What we're worried about is that in the process, this ring might open up and then might uh, occur oxidation of this ring. If that happens, I cannot get excitation or emissions from that ring. And it's basically no bueno, no good. <laughs> and um, so if that happens, we would have to try to find a new molecule. 
we don't know, I don't know what would be the next molecule yet. We still have to uh, start with AMC, but basically that's the next step. So, and then after that, if we do succeed with AMC, we may not get conjugation to tyrosine. So we would have to discuss what went wrong, did it attach somewhere else? Because our goal is to make uh, AMC attach here. But what if it happens here, here, or here? Those are our questions. We might not get the same emission. We may not get the desired structure. And that brings a whole number of different problems that we might have to look at. So yeah. And then also, the emission and excitation, again, it was not predicted correctly because we might get a structure that's not desired. Uh, so this is just um, a method. I know they look complicated <laughs> and really long, but uh, I don't want to go through step by step, but it's basically pretty simple. We are trying to get the preparation of the AMC salt where we get the AMC molecule and we dilute it. I might, no, not dilute. We mix it with two equivalents of TFA, which is another solution. And we try to make different proportions in different increments and to cool them and steer them again in different pH. And after that, we have this beautiful solution that's full of different things. Out of that solution, we have to extract our AMC, our salt. Hopefully, it's there. We don't know. We have to see and perform um, uh, different experiments for that. And then after that, we would have to uh, successfully, uh, what is it called, uh, extract our AMC from that solution. And then after that, we would have to um, work with our extraction of AMC and attach it or conjugate it to tyrosine. And that would be our next step in the bottom here. So, yeah. Uh, our key measures for this experiment, uh, again, we are looking to purify MC to extract it. And uh, one of the uh, techniques that we will be using is column chromatography. Um, after that, we would like to identify tyrosine with the AMC conjugate. So uh, these are a few of the different um, spectrophotometric techniques that we will be using. There's infrared spectroscopy, nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy, and fluorescence spectroscopy. Infrared and nuclear magnetic uh, NMR, I can't say the whole thing, uh, they are basically going to help us identify the structure at the end based on dif different uh, labels on graphs. Uh, different points on the graph. I should have included a graph. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and uh, they will help us identify the structure. After that, fluorescence spectroscopy will help us find AMC. And this is a graph here, and this shows the AMC emission in fluorescence right here. So we are expecting something like this, this bottom curve. So, um, our hypothesis, our goals for this experiment is to successfully create the AMC salt, to successfully conjugate AMC salt to a single amino acid of tyrosine, and then finally to successfully conjugate AMC, AMC salt to an amino acid tyrosine within a peptide chain. And that's it. Are you receiving questions? Yes, questions. Yeah. Yes. Is there a reason why you uh, selected AFC and tyrosine in the first place? Um, it, yes. It hasn't been looked at previously. And um, since aromatic um, molecules in general give specific wavelengths when excited, for example, uh, AMC, uh, its emis emission and excitation is at 355 nanometers to 460 nanometers. With its, its wavelength should be purple when you excite that specific type of light. So it's different for each type of molecule. So it's easily identified? Yes. It's, yeah. As you can see here, it has been identified already because it's just an aromatic molecule. You get me? So the reason why we're looking at this one is because it hasn't been done before. It's new, and it could be applied to different types of proteins, not just specific ones. And tyrosine is that protein. 
uh, an amino acid. So yeah, we're looking at tyrosine, but you could also attach it to, for example, tryptophan, like in, in the other yeah. um, studies. So it can be applied to right. a various number of amino so, acids. From the salt to the amino acid to the protein. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other yeah. questions? <laughs> I just don't get it. I'm so. <laughs> 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 you know, we can talk about other stuff. So, uh, I see you as a future teacher. Yeah, you're really good at being like. Oh. You sound like a professor. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, you're the only one. No, you're like. Yeah. You're comfortable. Yeah. Thank you. I'm like nervous and my voice is shaky. If you haven't noticed. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's see. So, how did you think you did? Um, I think I presented what needed to be presented. That is very clear. That's what's my goal. Yeah. yeah. Right to the point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, have you used a clicker before? No. <laughs> yeah, was, it just dawned on me during the middle of your presentation. I was thinking, gosh, I think you could have really benefited from using a clicker. Because okay. you're pointing out things a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so try it out later. Okay. Right? I know mm -hmm. you're touching the screen a lot. Yeah. But uh, that clicker has a pointer, a laser pointer. Yeah. <laughs> and that looks really, it looks kind of sharp. Like if you're standing there and you just uh, use a laser to point out all the different uh, molecules and things, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So that's one thing. I think uh, you, uh, for the first few slides, a little fast what I did. Okay. Then, like, third, you found your rhythm at the third. Okay. And it just flowed there. So it was harder to keep up at, at one point. Okay. Slow down, I guess, right? Yeah, all, I think most people, I think for most people, that's a common thing. Just yeah. Too fast. We start yeah. off fast. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, let's see. Your lit review slide. Mm -hmm. uh, can you take a look at that real quick? Yeah, I didn't know how to organize it. It looks really messy. Yeah, that's right. So it's not messy. <laughs> I think it's still clear, but uh, I think. Uh, one thing that might clean it up a little bit uh -huh. is uh, I know you're being thorough with those references. Yeah. But I think you can just um, do that at all. Because oh. you have a separate references slide. Oh, okay. Right? Mm -hmm. If you just do that at all, mm -hmm. although technically we have to present all objects. Yeah. Uh, but that, I think that would clean that slide up a little bit. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. It's just a, just a no, problem. yeah, I know. It, it just looks like a lot. <laughs> it's overwhelming. <laughs> uh, your, can we go to your methods? Sure. This is also a little bit uh, too much, I think, for me. Yeah. Just visually. The rest of your slides are so clean, mm -hmm. but these two stuck out for me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so if you, I think if these are bullet pointed. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. And and especially with methods, I mean, the methods have to come across very clearly. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, and you were you presented it as a complicated process. Mm -hmm. But I think. In your mind, the way that you presented it was very clear, mm -hmm. and so you can. I think you can bullet point that. Okay. What you think? Yeah, I just I don't I don't know. I was a mess. I didn't know how to break it down and to see if maybe like I was missing something or try to make it as clear as possible. And I felt like just a paragraph of it each. Yeah. So I think your your advisor. Yeah. Talk through with your advisor. Okay. I want to present that message, but I think bullet point it will come across uh, visually a little bit more easy to the audience. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. So your key measures. Yeah. Oh. Um, so we, we're, we're using a little bit different language for the natural and social sciences. I think this is, you have a mix of your actual method, mm -hmm. the spectroscopy, yeah. right? And the measure itself. So you have really two components in that, in that slide. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, again, I think that's an advisor question. Mm -hmm. But uh, my understanding is that the spectroscopy is the method, but then your measure is what you're presenting as that graph there with the wavelength, right, on the x axis, mm -hmm. fluorescence on the vertical axis. Those are your measures. Oh, okay. Right? Yes. Yeah, so that, yes. Oh, so okay, yeah. Oh, okay. So instead, I should have presented graphs of an NMR or an IR yes. spectrum. Yes, measures. Yes. yes. Okay. Measures have units. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. I, yeah, I think you're presenting a method there. Okay. And that's just our language that we just got lost in translation. Okay. From social science to natural science. Yeah? Makes but sense. You're terrific. 
Thank you. Seriously. <laughs> Thank you. I would love to see this as it's supposed to be. No. Like, you don't need to be shy at all. I can't help Seriously. it. Like, I can't. Like, it's just start shaking and... You don't need to be happy. <laughs> yeah? Like, no, like, you don't need to be shy either. You're great. Seriously. Thank you. Okay. All right. Any other thoughts, guys? Mm. <laughs> All right. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Say it, bro. Okay. Very good.